The Met Gala was last night, but not everyone decided to attend. Some people just didn't feel comfortable going because of COVID. Some couldn't attend because of their schedules. And I didn't go because I haven't been welcome ever since I mixed up Oscar de la Renta and Oscar de la Hoya. Yeah, I thought he'd block the punch. My bad. Oh, and it turns out Nicki Minaj wasn't there either for a reason that has set the internet ablaze. The Met Gala was held last night, but one star was noticeably absent, Nicki Minaj. The rapper told fans on Twitter that she isn't vaccinated, which was required in order to attend the event. She added that she contracted COVID-19 while prepping for the MTV Video Music Awards, but it was her comments about the vaccine that had many people lashing out. My cousin in Trinidad won't get the vaccine because his friend got it and became impotent. His testicles became swollen. His friend was weeks away from getting married. Now the girl called off the wedding, so just pray on it and make sure you're comfortable with your decision, not bully. That's right, people. If you've been on Twitter in the last 24 hours, or if you, for some reason, have a Google alert for Trinidadian testicles, you probably saw the story, and ooh, baby, is there a lot to digest here. First of all, I'm gonna say this, I'm not sure that this marriage was ever gonna work out. Because when you get married, you go into it knowing you're gonna face some obstacles someday. I mean, it's right there in the vows. But clearly this woman in Trinidad was like, I was okay with richer or poorer sickness and health, but you never said anything about swollen testicles. And also, can we just talk a moment about this poor guy? Think about it, he's minding his own business with these swollen testicles in Trinidad. And then because his best friend happens to be cousins with Nicki Minaj, now the whole world knows that he's impotent, he got dumped, and he's got giant testicles. He must be so mad at his friend. But I told you I was gonna tell my cousin Nicki in America. Boy, you didn't tell me your cousin was Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj, you gotta say Nicki Minaj. I mean, that poor guy. Now he's single and swollen, and everyone's asking him if he can hook them up with Nicki Minaj tickets. And here's the thing, here's the thing. Vaccines are already a very contentious issue in America, right? Everyone is fighting about them. But when you're a world-famous artist with 22 million followers on Twitter, everyone is gonna be weighing in. Right-wing commentators have been rushing to Nikki's defense. Yes, my anaconda queen! And then on the other side, liberal pundits like MSNBC's Joy Reid, well, they called Nikki out on TV. People like Nicki Minaj, I have to say this, you have a platform, sister, that is 22 million followers, okay? I have 2 million followers. You have 22 million followers on Twitter. For you to use your platform to encourage our community to not protect themselves and save their lives, my God, sister, you could do better than that. You got that platform. It's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing that you got that, that people listen to you, and they listen to you more than they listen to me. For you to use your platform to put people in the position of dying from a disease they don't have to die from, oh my God, as a fan, as a hip hop fan, as somebody who was your fan, I'm so sad that you did that. I think what Joy Reid is trying to say is that she's also black and she's very disappointed. Now, after hearing this, Nicki Minaj actually contacted Joy Reid and they had a really cordial conversation and came to an understanding based on friendship and mutual respect. Now, I'm just messing with you, man. Nikki roasted her ass. Oof. It was rough. She tweeted Joy Reid and called her a lying coon who's being used by white people to take down a black woman. And she even dug up an old tweet from last year where Joy Reid was saying that she would never trust the vaccine because it was developed under Donald Trump. And honestly, I, I think Nikki has a point here. I mean, Joy Reid was skeptical of the vaccine just a year ago, right? Just a year ago. She was like, I don't trust this vaccine and I'll never trust the vaccine. In fact, a lot of liberals were in the same position. And people like that should probably have a, a little more patience for people who haven't gotten over that hesitancy as fast as they have, you know? You're like, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm over it now. I'm with the vaccine. But you also had to get there. Have a little patience. This happens with a lot of things in society. I mean, look at Crocs, look at Crocs. For years, everyone agreed that Crocs were the official footwear of failure, right? And then suddenly last year, everyone decided that they were cool. Justin Bieber's wearing them, Post Malone is wearing them, and now people are like, oh, where are your Crocs, Trevor? Why aren't you wearing Crocs, Trevor? You don't like fashion? Guys, give me a minute, huh? Let me check with Dr. Fauci. And Nicki Minaj was on defense all day. 
All day, Nikki was fighting, swinging at everyone. Not only Joy Reid, at one point, Meghan McCain, former co-host of The View and inventor of the phrase, do you know who my father is, criticized Nikki. And Nikki responded with, eat shit, you, which I know sounds harsh. But please don't forget, people, Nicki Minaj is a rapper, all right? She makes diss tracks for a living. Eat shit, you, is basically a rapper's way of saying, let's agree to disagree. It's actually quite courteous in the rap community. And, and here's the thing, here's the thing. Like, I get why Nicki Minaj feels attacked just for saying that she wants to do her own research. I get it. But at the same time, Nicki, let's be real. In fact, not just Nicki, everyone. Can, can we all stop saying, I need to do my own research? Nobody who's saying that is getting in a lab and doing tests. At best, you're reading other people's research. And more likely, you're probably reading a tweet about a headline, about a blog post, about someone else's research. No one's doing the research. Oh, I need to do my own research. What we say when we're saying, I need to do more, re more research, is that you just want to see enough information to convince you that your decision is correct. That's all we're saying, all right? That's what we mean, I want to do more research. And I especially don't want Nicki Minaj doing her own research, because I don't want to wait 10 years for her next album while she finishes up medical school. Now, here's the problem. The problem is for a lot of Nicki Minaj's followers, millions of followers, that tweet about swollen balls, that'll be their research. It will be their research. But at the same time, I'm not saying that we should label Nicki Minaj as an anti-vaxxer, all right? Like, give her a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Nicki Minaj is saying she's unsure and she can be convinced. That's what she said. She said, I, I just need to understand a little bit more. So don't be like, oh, she's an anti-vaxxer, screw her. Anti-vaxxers believe that all vaccines are evil. They think all vaccines take your DNA and hide it behind your liver so your body can't find it. But if you take Nikki at her word, or anyone who wants more information for that matter, instead of crucifying them just to prove how righteous we are, let's show them the research. Let's take them at their word. You know, so for Nikki or anyone else out there, the good news is that a lot of actual research has already been done on these vaccines. And that research has shown that they're overwhelmingly safe and effective, and their side effects don't come close to the damage that COVID can do to you. It's been done, they've done the research. But still, you might be asking, Trevor, what happened to that guy in Trinidad, huh? The guy with the testicles, what happened to him? Look, I don't know, okay, I don't know. I think there are many reasons people might get swollen balls. Like, I don't know, maybe he sprayed miracle Grow on them, you know? Maybe his scrotum developed a nut allergy. Maybe his balls didn't actually get bigger, but his penis just got super, super tiny. It's an optical illusion. But even if you do want to blame the vaccine, Trinidad doesn't even use the same vaccines as America. Think about that. Yeah, they use the Chinese vaccine, Sinopharm. And I know as soon as I say China, and vaccine, people are like, oh boy, here we go. Because look, let's be honest, China is wildly inconsistent. I mean, they make some of the most precise electronics in the world in China, you know, like iPhones and Teslas. China can make the best of anything, but then at the same time, China will also make a fake pair of Timberlands that somehow give you a rash on your teeth. So I don't know if this dude's balls had anything to do with Sinopharm, the Chinese vaccine. I don't know enough about Sinopharm. I have to do my own research. But the fact is that right now, for Nicki Minaj or anyone else in America, getting vaccinated is still the safest and most effective way for you to keep COVID at bay. And hey, at the very least, it's also a great way to find out if your fiance only loves you for your regular sized testicles.